All right, y'all. So you can see that I am not um, at my house. This is not my house. This is my mom's house. <laughs> and so I am working on some projects, uh, taking advantage of her backyard. So one way that my husband and I have saved money is by just taking our existing furniture and refinishing it. So what I'm going to be working on are the legs to my dining room table. Um, they're going to stay black, so I'm just going to sand them, scuff them up. I don't really have to take uh, the existing black veneer that's already on it. I'm just going to scuff it up enough to get some more paint on it um, and to get it looking like it's somewhat new. And then the top of the dining room table, we're going to sand it and we're going to finish it. I wanted like a golden oak, but we have brand new gray stains and we're just gonna go with gray. You're not letting me vlog. <laughs> jumpy, jumpy. Dooey, daddy. Stop. Let me do that. You want to vlog? Go ahead, vlog. Get in front of the camera. Tell the camera. Daddy! Hey, I want to stand it. Can I? Can I? Come yeah. on. No, but guys, stop, stop. I can't get any work done. Yeah. Stop. Go play somewhere else. Go play. Go play. Go play. So we got one done. I don't know if you can tell, it's getting a little dark, but I've scuffed it up as best as I can. Um, I, will, I will wipe it down and ooh, 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 then ooh, ooh, paint it. Are you a gorilla? Are you a gorilla? So while I do this, I guess I'll talk to you for a little bit. Um, mosquitoes are killing me, y'all. Um, I used to be a huge Ikea fan. I still am for certain pieces, for certain looks. Um, I am, but I'm not as huge of a fan as I used to be. And that's because <clears throat> my husband was always into like solid wood furniture. And I felt like it was like, ugh, solid wood, oh. Just, it looked like old people furniture, but not all solid wood furniture is old people furniture. <laughs> but what I've noticed is that solid pieces of wood or furniture that is made out of solid wood, uh, it's just better quality. It lasts longer. If you have to um, refinish it, you can. Uh, things that you get from Ikea, usually made out of like particle board, and veneer and laminate and sometimes those materials can be a little challenging to refinish and if you do refinish them you're like taking layers off of it hence making it weaker right so 
One thing I've noticed about solid wood furniture is that puppies are strong. And if you nick it, you can just repair it, you know? I used to have this dresser from Ikea. I'm gonna refinish this one or resand. <clears throat> I had a dresser from Ikea and I was so upset when it broke in half. And my husband, this when we were engaged and we were moving my things into his apartment and he grabbed the dresser a certain kind of way and the thing snapped in two, like in two. Dust everywhere, like the particle board had ripped. It was just a mess. And even though I liked the way that the piece of furniture looked, I realized that it was cheap. So what you do is what you do with your money, but what I do is what I do. And y'all know that I'm the frugal mom and that I like to save a buck. So I have been investing in um, wood pieces and I have been investing in them like off of Facebook Marketplace, off of Craigslist. These mosquitoes are attacking me. Oh my God. This is like the devil coming after me and I'm fighting for my life. So um, I have been investing on Craigslist. This table my husband got on Craigslist for like less than 50 bucks and we've had it for about two and a half years. It's still super strong. Um, we just have to refinish it. So, you know, that's my thought on saving a buck here and there. It's invest in solid pieces that will last you a long time. <laughs> but I wanted to show you. I just did these two, okay? So this is the before, and the after's on the left. It's gonna look nice. Yeah, so I just gotta finish these two. I'm running out of paint, but this is this can has been pretty awesome, so let's just finish up.
Rust-Oleum here. Um, but I got a decent first coat on. I did get a little bit of drips, so I have to ease up on the amount of spray or coats that I'm putting on. Uh, so I will pick up another can tomorrow and give it a second coat. And then I will figure out what I'm gonna use for a top coat because I just wanna make sure that paint stays in. But so far so good. died uh, mid work session but I guess I'll catch you up so DIY is not easy it really is not on YouTube they make it look mad doable mad easy um, it is doable but you got to get the hang of it and so I think it was Christina I can't remember what her last name is but she's um, like a furniture flipper she paints furniture and whatnot. Mom, Hold mommy, on. Mommy, I'm the bubble water and wife. I know. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I just I just peeped all these gray hairs. The stress is real. So um I forgot she she mentioned that when you start doing DIY projects, you know start on something small. Start on something that you can mess up and you know toss out or redo you know don't like go all in on like a huge project so I appreciated that but here is what I'm experiencing right now I'm feeling like a failure and it's because I'm like not using my common sense so I'm working on two projects at the same time I'm working on my poles for my cabinets I painted them uh, spray painted them they look good but now I'm trying to do the the top coat the enamel to you know protect it so while I'm in between doing that I'm also refinishing the legs of my dining room table came out really nice but again working on the um, polyurethane now and then I was trying to work on my kids little table idiot don't sand the table <laughs> by the stuff that's drying okay so I had a little bit of an issue where the um, the sawdust uh, <laughs> was traveling over <laughs> to my fixtures and my um, you know newly painted dining room legs, dining room table legs, and I was trying to wipe off the the sawdust, and then I used some paper towel and I wet it, and then the paper towel was leaving these little white marks. So I was like, oh my god! So I had to go in and use my t-shirt and my t-shirt actually kind of got the job done and then i had a clean microfiber towel that then i kind of just like once it was all dry i was kind of like beating the fixtures and beating the legs to get the remainder of the um, dust off and you're probably saying why don't you just use a tack cloth i'm i'm not 100 percent comfortable with tack cloth because of it feels so sticky it's weird i gotta get used to it and um i just made it work with my t-shirt right so so that was done so now i've completely stopped working on my kids table because that has to be a completely separate project i cannot sand and paint two different projects at the same time common sense um okay so now this is my other issue i'm exploring spray painting because um, it's just easier to spray paint like dining room table legs because you know they're they're round, they're not rectangular, and they've got little grooves in them, and I didn't want to see brush strokes, so I got spray paint. And 
I love how they look with the spray paint. But then I was like, you know what? I'm a boss with spray paint. Let's polyurethane it up with polyurethane paint spray can. Okay? Wrong. Oh my God. This Minwax polyurethane spray can is a pain in my B-U-T-T, -T, in my butt. When you spray it once, it gives you a mist. You spray it twice, it gives you a mist. You spray it thrice and it clumps. So I was getting these like like spurts of like clumps on, on the dining room table legs and it was upsetting. I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna ruin this. So now I'm going in with my finger and I'm trying to wipe out, you know, the clump. So now you kind of see, you know, that it's not a sprayed finish because some parts have like a line because my finger kind of just went through it. So I figured, you know what, I can only do two sprays at a time. Shh move on to another section move on to another section so I was doing that and I minimized that whole little clumping so plus and a hooray for me uh, but now I'm just waiting in between coats and I am trying to charge my phone <laughs> it is um, connected to the wall I don't know if you can see it boop 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 there's the cable it's connected to the wall so um I got about 10 more minutes before I can go back and do another coat on both the cabinet fixtures and the dining room table legs. All in all, all in all, it is coming out well. Um, and I'm going to hopefully charge this phone up so I can at least, you know, show you how I'm putting on the polyurethane and putting on the clear enamel on the fixtures. I'm hoping that it works out. Um, but I'm having a hard day. Today's not easy. Not easy at all. And then I got some news about the plumbing at my house. Like right now it's 419 and my husband is over at the house greeting the plumber because there's an issue with, um, I guess a sewage pipe. I don't know if that's the correct term, but there's an issue that when we turn open the slop sink, the slop sink, I think I'm saying it right. The sink that is next to the washing machine. When we turn it on or when we flush the toilet, um, like this water rises up in the basement on the drain and it stinks. So they're trying to snake it. My husband tried snaking it yesterday and it did not work. So we're getting a plumber to put a camera in there and praying to God, oh my God, I am praying that it's just maybe branches that are in there or just a clog that can be moved out with the snake. I'm praying to God that that it's not cracked because it's an old house, 1954 is when it was built. And the driveway concrete is a little funky. And we spoke to someone and they were like, yeah, you know, if the driveway is a little sunken in or a little uneven, you know, that might cause an issue with that pipe that leads out into the street. So just a lot going on today. And then, I mean, you're seeing this, gosh, I don't even know when you're seeing this, probably in October, but today is August 31st. And I'm just not excited that tomorrow is September 1st. Not excited at all about it because it's the first day of work for me. And I am, I'm so clueless right now with how it's gonna go down. Um, just a lot. <laughs>